What's going on everybody? Welcome, welcome. And today, I want to share something that, that caught my attention yesterday. It was a really good piece of information. And I kind of knew about it already, but it really was made crystal clear to me yesterday and today. All right, I want, the title of this is how, how to Use Your Social Media Platforms. By how, how to use them, I mean, what should you do on these social media platforms? What's the best way to get your content out on these social media platforms? Okay? Because although the broad title is social media, each one of these platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, all these platforms, they cater to the same audience, but in different ways. And when I first got hip to social media, I didn't quite understand that. And it took me, it took me a minute to understand that, really. But yesterday, I was on Instagram, ironically, and... I saw this post. I forgot. I forgot what post. I forgot what page it was under. I saw this post, and it had six different social media platforms. I had uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and it was like three others. I forgot. And under each of the under each of the icons of the platforms, it gave a synopsis of basically how to properly use these platforms. And it said, um, for YouTube content, you basically want to, it's, it's basically for, for long, for long form, and long form content. By long form content, I mean videos that are long, you know, like they got, uh, vlogs and all that stuff like that. Long content, um, 10, 15 minutes. I know, I know people don't, I know people can say that long, but to me it's not long, but nowadays 15, 10 to 15 minutes is considered long. So 15 to 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes plus long form. Instagram. <clears throat> Instagram has made its name off of its short content. Like for me, I'm an artist, right? And I post time lapse videos. Time lapse videos are basically sped up videos. Time lapse. You just you, should, you have a have a long video, and you use an app to speed up the video to make it go by faster. Okay. And since Instagram is king of the thirty second one minute clip, that's the short form. All right, so Instagram is used for short form content. I mean, they have they have the IG um, IGTV, which I think can go as far, as long as ten minutes, but most of the content is basically thirty seconds to a minute. Okay, so you got the short, you got the long form, the long content YouTube, you got the short form Instagram. All right, hashtags. Which is another way to um, to give out information and, and to have others come to your content. Hashtags. Twitter is king of the hashtags. Yes, other YouTube, other platforms have use hashtags as well. Instagram is good with that, all that stuff. But hashtags. Twitter is king of the hashtags. You can start an entire movement across the world on any social media platform through Twitter, depending on your hashtag. So it's, your hashtag game need to be on point. And also, Twitter is where you write out your thoughts and you and your hashtags. Okay, so Twitter is where you may say, hey, I am... I'm going on. I'm going on live. I'm on Twitch live. All that stuff. Come over and see me on Twitch live, right? You put that on. You put that on Instagram, and then you may hashtag Twitch, may hashtag gaming or whatever it is. Then you then you go on Twitch and you do that. Twitch is K 
king of the live stream. Because Twitch, you can only you can't pre-record something and post it on uh, Twitch. I'm not if I'm not mistaken, you can't. So it's all live. It's all live. And Facebook is king of the long story. What I mean by that is if you want to post, you want to post a article. You want to post an article or you want to write out a long drawn out summary or something. You can do that on Facebook because it, there's no, as far as I know, there are no uh, character restrictions when you're typing something on Facebook. So the major, the major platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch is coming up there, all that. Snapchat, when, when Snapchat was the thing, Snapchat was all about a quick picture, snap, there you go. You snap a quick picture, you chat. I mean, that Snapchat ain't as popular as it used to be, but that was his thing. But it shows you how you can take the same content and split it up different ways. Like I said, if I'm an artist, which I am, I may I may have a drawing, right? So I did a drawing today. Of, I did a drawing today of Samuel Jackson, right? So what I did was I went on Twitch and did a live stream about it, right? So I live streamed it. Then I took that clip I took I took that took that footage I posted it on Twitter saying hey I'm on Twitch come and see me you know do this drawing once I did that then I did the time lapse video posted it on um, Instagram it's a quick one quick one minute boom quick one minute video I even posted it on YouTube. I kind of made the video longer, but I posted it on YouTube. So, you see, I took the same thing. Then I went on Instagram. I went, so I went on Facebook. Took the same Facebook. And I posted the image. I posted the video and wrote a summary above it. So, you see, I did that. I took the same same content, but you gotta find like you gotta find a way. How do I maximize each of these platforms? Which means you gotta ask, what are each of these platforms good at? What do each of these platforms specialize in? That's what I should say. What do each of these platforms specialize in? So whenever you have content, you can take the, take that one piece of content. And split it up into the different social media platforms. And when you do it consistently, people on a particular platform can see what they want to see of the same content. You post a picture. There you go. You got a, got a short video. You got a long video. You got a live stream of the video. You got a long written out written summary about the content. So there you have it. And plus, like I say, you got the hashtag. So if you put Samuel Jackson uh, Shaft movie, go on Twitter. You you post the image and put you 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 uh, you, um, you put his name there. You know Samuel Jackson. You add him, and then you put hashtag Shaft movie, which means. Those who are interested in the Shaft movie will go under that hashtag and see this image that I posted. And plus, you will have the links to the video, whether it be Twitch or YouTube or Instagram, of the video I, when I drawn Samuel Jackson and Shaft. Then that will take you 
to the other platforms and see a different version of the same video. That's how you properly use, that's one of the ways you properly use the, the different attributes of the social media platforms. It's all social media, but each social media platform has a different attribute that it focuses on. Learn what those attributes are and adapt your content to the different attributes of the social media platforms. And you see, if you do it consistently, you can see how you'll have a multitude of people from different, different areas coming to see your content. All right? Just a little jewel. I, I, it, it finally hit me yesterday. I said, I kind of always knew it, but it just it was really made crystal clear to me yesterday. And I wanted to share it today and just like I said, this this video is long form content, 10 to 15 minutes. Put it on YouTube. Right? Put it on YouTube. Post a link on Twitter. Hashtag social media platforms. Something like that. Put it on uh, Facebook. Summary about it. There you go. See how I did that? So hopefully y'all. Uh, Hope we just catch y'all, and I will catch you all later. Peace.